Good morning, YouTube. Old Rusty here again today in a Meadows biome. I wanted to return to my favorite food, the best food, the preferred food. Sweet, sweet cooked mutton. Sure, it may not have the best saturation or hunger fulfillment in Minecraft, but sometimes it's about style. And mutton is the... Is it the Tesla, the BMW, the Gucci, whatever your favorite thing is that's the best in any category, that's what mutton is. Not raw mutton. Raw mutton is garbage. We want cooked mutton. And we don't want to cook it ourselves. And so, we've come up with a new design. And by we, I mean ore. Because this is totally his mushroom farm that I have just taken, plopped down in the meadows biome, and made slight alterations to. What's going on here is there's a lot of candles. The candles will push the sheep up enough to get pushed into the water streams, and then they'll go in here and die. The babies are too small, but the babies will follow the parents because they see the coral is solid, and they'll die in the lava too. I have trap doors in the exact same layout that you would use to prevent spiders because, well, they're about the same size. This prevents any donkeys from spawning in this farm by just plopping a, plop a trap door down every third block. It's not going to be symmetrical. Get over it. Beneath those trap doors, you can put a solid light so you can just save a bunch of time and effort on making this so they'll always spawn. Now, of course, the other passive mob that will spawn in a meadows biome besides donkeys and sheep are rabbits. And rabbits are too small to ever get caught in this water stream. And then sometimes they'll even slip back in there. And for that, we spent a lot of time figuring this out. And what it comes down to is cats. Oh, I've lost one. I ran this for eight hours. I think I might have just killed it a minute ago. It, you know what? We're going to replace them real quick. So let's just consider that it is theoretically possible that in this farm, cats could be considered a consumable. Because despite my best efforts, they still occasionally, very occasionally, are going to get in there and do silly nonsense like die. And that's okay. Because we can always just get more cats. Especially if you have a village nearby, which we'll go over in a minute. So these cats are all tied back way away, so they don't fall in here. Sometimes they do, I guess. It didn't all night when I ran it for 10 hours straight, but it did in the last five minutes. So let's look at what happens. Come up 24 blocks, and we're just gonna watch and see. Now the second any rabbit spawns in here, those cats get really excited about it in the sense that I wanna kill it, and they do in one hit. Ah, uh, now we just wait patiently. Something will eventually spawn. I would do a slash kill command, but then it's going to kill all my cats. Oh yeah, probably because the farm's not on. Well, let's go take care of that one. We're going to come back up here and watch. Or I'll use spawn eggs. They never spawn when you want them to. Bad farm. Maybe I've got a mob cap here somewhere. Hmm. Some of them get out. We'll come back to this then. Let's talk about sheep. We'll just use spawn eggs for now. So the sheep will simply float along. Everyone's happy. The rabbits... When the rabbits spawn, those cats get really excited. And they'll kill it. Occasionally, one might actually float along on the top. The cats are just gonna follow that thing and get really excited till it plops down. It's either gonna go in the lava or they'll just get it at the end. Well, let's wait for some spawning. There we go, there's some bunnies right there. I was too close. 
And there's more rabbits. Just watch them in that lower corner and they get obliterated. You could put hopper minecarts beneath everything to collect their drops if you're so inclined. I'm not. This farm isn't about rabbits. See? Watch that one right there. It's going to float along. They're just going to follow that thing pretty hardcore. And then once it gets near the end, it's either going to fall in the lava or slip back in that grass. It's a dead. It's a goner either way. Spawning mechanics are a little funny, especially when it comes to passive mobs waiting on them to actually pop in there. So let's just watch and wait for sheep for a minute. Again, there's a rabbit, and they get him. They can get him anywhere in this farm. Come on, spawning algorithm. Of course, I'm getting nothing but rabbits now. Moving on. We'll come back to this. Let's just kick this along. So what happens is that sheep floats along. Once it gets pushed in, holding the looting three sword, it falls. This lava is exactly five blocks below. It falls and gets burnt and then killed on the tried and killer while it's on fire, delivering you 14 and a half stacks of cooked mud in an hour and a lot of wool. Well, let's talk about the other thing Or did in that farm. If you shear a sheep, there's one, you go. If you shear a sheep, it will give you between one and three wool. Turns out though, you can shear a sheep multiple times in the same tick if you use dispensers. Yeah, yeah that's why, that's why right there. I had an earlier video where I forgot to actually talk. So he did this with mushrooms, but we're going to do it with wool. What's happening here is I have dispensers. All these dispensers, plus these up top. And then you can also, for whatever reason, shear the block they're standing on. So I've got another ten dispensers down there. And every time you do that... Yep, you can go. Every time you do that... They all shear. There's one wool. There's one sheep that just dropped. A lot of wool. 25. It dropped about 40 wool. On average, they'll drop between 40 and 50 wool per sheep. Because each one of those shears, 39 in that case. Thank you. One more for the road. And again, look at all that wool. What can you do with this wool? I I estimated it out. It'll probably make around twenty-two to twenty-three thousand wool an hour just from free-range sheeping. And then, of course, at this point, you would drop them into a trident killer over there. Oh, see, there's some, and they'll come in different colors, and they'll sit there. They'll bob down, fall down, on fire. Looting through is applied. Fourteen and a half stacks an hour. Stick a skull catalyst right down here. And you won't have any issues with XP building up. Ah, sweet, sweet money. What have we learned today? Uh, one is I should edit my videos, but I won't. I refuse. Two, take Ore's farm. Put it in a meadows biome. Throw some eight cats in. Is it excessive? Do you want mud? Moving on. Trapdoors will prevent the donkeys. Sp uh all these cats for the rabbits. I would suggest putting more grass blocks underneath it like this. This way that those baby uh, those baby sheep will occasionally eat your grass. Well, you know what? You need grass for sheep to spawn. You could also down here put a uh, hopper minecart rail system. Ah, he's our friend who escaped earlier. He doesn't do anything in the farm at this point, but I'm going to let him live. If you really wanted to collect all these extra rabbit drops. They're raw, but you could sell them to butchers. And it, it does make a lot. There, there's a lot of dead rabbits in this farm. Simple little collection system down here would let you get it, but we don't care about that. We just want the mudden. Sweet, sweet mudden. I'm going to link to Orr's video. Take his mushroom farm, put it where it belongs, in a meadows biome. 
Uh, and then if you really want to, follow the rest of his video. And my eyes aren't even blinking. This video is going off the rails. I love it. This is the old rusty video we needed on a, on a Friday. Who knew? Build an iron farm. Do his extra module to shear all those sheep on the iron farm. Well, you know what? It'll give you the cats, too. And then just get 22,000 wool an hour of, granted, only six colors, five of which you're ever really going to see. And then cook them. And you, too, can have delicious cooked mudden and really what amounts to an absolutely ridiculous amount of wool. About 40, about almost over half a stack of wool per sheep. And this farm, by my math, will kill about eh, 400 to 500 sheep an hour. That's a lot of mudden. That's a lot of wool. And I guess it's a lot of dead rabbits because, you know, they're garbage and we have to do something with them. So cats are our heroes. Yay! Old Rusty's Cooked Mudden Farm version 2.0. 14.5 stacks an hour of the sweet, sweet mud. Compliments to Orr. I win the cook-off. Old Rusty out.